This week on BFX, Ken asks, can you replicate the intro to that really cool ninja show for the second part of your ninja special? What do you think, Ken? So last week we showed you how to make a ninja costume, snap someone's neck, and do a wall run. This week we're going to show you how to make some ninja weapons. Ninjutsu Gary, spin the wheel of ninja prosperity. Now there are two options to creating low budget weapons. One is to create them from scratch, and two is to get some toy weapons and paint them to make them look more realistic. I personally prefer the second choice, but I'm gonna show you how to do both. So when we're done, we'll have two low budget katanas and two sets of bargain throwing stars. <laughs> Start with two four foot wooden dowels. One should have a smaller diameter than the other. Secure these using duct tape to create the frame of the sword. To create the blade, I took poster board, traced, cut, and folded it until I got the basic shape. When you're happy, secure the blade to the frame using tape. I used black gaffer's tape and narrow masking tape. Before we move on to the handle, I'm gonna spray paint the entire blade silver. The rest of the handle and the guard were cut out of cardboard and then taped in place. I was happy leaving the handle covered in gaffer's tape, but you could wrap yours in cloth or rope. I found this Ninja Turtle sword at a local toy store for only $12. All I had to do was add a quick layer of silver paint. Start by cutting about a 4 inch square out of cardboard. Using a stencil I drew on a basic ninja star shape, then cut it out. Next apply masking tape along the edges where you think a ninja star would be sharpened, and then paint silver. After you've finished your first ninja star, the rest are a lot easier because you can use the first one as a stencil. Remember that it's the masking tape along the edges that are going to make these ninja stars look sharp. Like the sword, the toy ninja stars are going to be a lot easier. All I had to do was cut off these little plastic rings and then spray paint silver. Here are the two swords after we shot the ninja test film. And here are the two different ninja stars. Now before we start the test film, I want to remind everyone to be careful when working with prop weapons. Some people might think this is a real sword and freak out. Also, just because these aren't sharp doesn't mean they're not dangerous. Just be careful, you don't want to hurt your friend. Ninja versus Bill. Who are you? What are you doing here? I am Samurai. You are going to die. Bill is 
Cruz winner, yay! By a show of hands, how many people out there want to help out Indie Mogul? Well, here's how you can. Tell a friend, subscribe, join the forums, dig us, leave a comment below this video, write us a review on iTunes, or just give us a hug. Make sure to record at least 30 seconds of room tone for every location that you shoot in.